timbre. No, that can't be right. I said in disbelief, staring at my doctor. Can we? Can we retest? I stammered as my phone fell from my hands. Yes, we certainly can. But I assure you, these tests are very accurate, Dr. Young said empathetically. Yeah, let's just retest, please. I said softly as tears poured from my eyes. Dr. Young nodded and read off the next steps for my diagnosis. I shook my head, barely present and barely flinching, when a medical assistant came in and drew my blood to have me retested. Everyone in the office eyes matched my solemn ones as I wiped my tears and power walked out of the clinic. Who knew that this was how my day would be going after having such a beautiful morning? 7.50 a.m. Baby, get up. This is the third time your alarm has gone off, my boyfriend Shane said, shaking my shoulder. I groaned and peeked from under the cover, knowing I was pushing it. I had to be at work at 9.30 a.m., and if I didn't get up now, I would be late, per usual. Okay, I whined, throwing the cover off of me. Spoiled ass, he mumbled with a laugh as he grabbed the cover and quickly made the bed. I made some breakfast, so hurry up before it gets cold. Okay, I groaned as I went into the bathroom in our room. Shane and I have been together since I was 16 years old, and at that age of 26, I didn't see myself with anyone else. He was the most kind, compassionate, and handsome man ever. Brushing my teeth, I turned on the shower and set the temperature so that I could get in. Hurry up and wash up and get out to start my day. Uh, um, uh, what do you think you're doing? I asked Shane as he came into the bathroom naked as the day he was born. I need to take a shower too, he said with a grin, looking like a Cheshire cat. Yeah, I bet. I playfully rolled my eyes as I got undressed. This was a classic Shane move, always bringing his butt into the shower with me, pretending he needed to be cleaned all while he was trying to get his rocks off for the day. Not that I minded, because Shane knew how to work my body, and he did just that. Fifteen minutes later, we were exiting the shower and putting on our clothes when my phone blared on the charger as it sat on the nightstand. Oh, Lord, what is she calling about? I said to myself, seeing my doctor's name on the call ID. Hello? I answered questioningly. I had just gone into the doctor's office on Friday for my annual checkup and got all the works done, so I knew it had to be in regards to that. I just didn't know what exactly. Yes, Miss Tambor Jordan? This is she. This is Leslie calling from Dr. Young's office. Can you come into the office sometime today? Um, I said, looking at the time on my phone. It was going on 8.30 a.m., and maybe I could swing there first and still make it to work on time. Can I come now? Now it's fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See you soon, she said before hanging up. I stood there staring at my phone before rushing to grab my coat and shoes. What's wrong? Who was that? Shane asked as he pulled his hoodie down. That was Dr. Young's office. They need to see me. About? He asked with his brows raised. No idea. They didn't say. I'm about to head there now before work. Want me to come with you? I'll push my appointment back. He asked, pulling me into a hug. Shane worked for my home. He did social media management and was a hot commodity. He would help small businesses build their following and platform from the ground up, making them tons of money. No, baby, it's fine. I'm sure it's nothing. I probably put on my form to not discuss anything over the phone. Probably, knowing your paranoid ass, he joked, and we shared a laugh. Call me before you get to work and let me know what you want for dinner. He called after me as I made my way out of our room. Okay. Looking at my phone ring, I ignored Shane's call for the fourth time and called my mother instead. Hey, baby. She answered like her cheery self. Mama, I sobbed. Tambor, what's wrong? I want to die, Mama. I can't do this. 
What's wrong, baby? Tell me. She yelled into the phone. Where are you? Leaving the doctor's office. 